Yeah, you know, Cleveland's that kind of place that inspires that kind of pride in people. I think everybody from Cleveland is very proud of the place. And uh, yeah, you know, Joe and I, you know, we look, the, our, our upbringing here left a big impression on us. And that it's, those impressions are what drive our storytelling. So it's very linked to how we think about movies, how we think about storytelling. So the, to be able to shoot films here is very important for us. And we're very happy to have been able to shoot two movies here so far. And we hope to shoot more in the future. When uh, you look at Cleveland trying to be kind of a player in the movie industry, as you, as a movie insider, where does it stand right now? I mean, we know obviously Hollywood, Atlanta's come on with their tax credits, and we saw Albuquerque pass this this big uh, tax credit. They've got a Netflix studio built down there. Where does Cleveland kind of rank as far as cities to film in? Well, it ranks really well. Cleveland has had, for many years now, because of the Cleveland Film Commission, a very strong infrastructure here and a great resource here for filmmakers to come to, plug into, and figure out how to sort of make Cleveland work for cinema. Um, and additional to that, and even more important in many ways, is, the, is Ohio's had a very aggressive tax incentive to shoot here. The tax incentive is key because that's the one thing that many states have, like Georgia and many other states, or many countries have, like Canada, that entice film production. So without that a tax incentive, it becomes sort of economically unfeasible to shoot here. But because Ohio has that, that's really been the key to film production here. And, and I think it's been working really well for the past several years. Now, there was a little bit of a hiccup this year where the Ohio legislature pulled the tax incentive out of the state budget back in the spring, and it didn't get reinstated until just recently, that was a bit of a problem. It caused a, a, a lot of hiccups in terms of how people could plan production here in Ohio and Cleveland specifically. And it affected my brother and I personally because there was a movie we were trying to shoot here in the fall called Cherry based on a, a novel by Nico Walker. And that novel is set here in Cleveland. So the whole film is set here in Cleveland. We wanted to shoot it here in Cleveland. But because of the problems with the tax incentive in the state budget, we had to come up with a plan B uh, because this location wasn't viable economically. So unfortunately, we're not going to be shooting that movie here, which is kind of heartbreaking to us. But. I, I remember talking to, to Ivan, and he was saying, was, was there a point in which you were even scouting this for Endgame, possibly, Cleveland, if they had the right tax credit and the right infrastructure? Yeah, yeah, that's very true. We were always, we're always looking for opportunities to bring production here, and there wasn't a, a moment in time where we thought maybe we could bring some of the Endgame production here, but it didn't work out. But not because of the film friendliness of Cleveland, just for our own internal issues, yeah. Where, where does it need to go? Uh, is it more tax credit? Is it more infrastructure? How does Cleveland take that next step? Both of those. If the tax credit is good and if it stays solid and if they don't sort of mess with it in the way that it's been messed with over the past several months, that's the most important thing. And number one, if it gets even more aggressive, I think you, we will see the benefits of it here. Um, secondly, more infrastructure development would be excellent here. Like we would love to be a part of continuing to develop film production facilities here in Cleveland. So I think if the tax incentive stays solid, the hopes for more permanent facilities here, like they've built in other cities like Atlanta, are, are possible.